Wayne, it seems that even in tragedy, there's often his heroic stories. Uh, in Mumbai, not long ago, there was the, the tragic attack from terrorists coming out of Pakistan mm -hmm. into India, and there was a the Chabad house. For, for our, our listeners who don't know what a Chabad house is, in just about every city, uh, western city in the world or tourist city in the world, there's what's called a Chabad house. This is from the Lubavitch Jewish movement. They, they, they are reaching out to Jewish travelers lots of times when they're in a place like India. Uh, and so backpackers, whatever, they come and they stay there. And there was a Jewish couple that had opened up a Chabad house and immediately these terrorists took over the house. They murdered the couple mm -hmm. and they had a little kid there, two year old baby. And th this is awesome. I, I just, you know, I, I love stories like this. In the mm. midst of tragedy, mm. somebody rises up. And uh, this young woman, uh, I think I have her name here, Sandra uh, Samuel, Indian woman, she ran upstairs with the terrorists in the house. Mm. She ran upstairs, she grabbed the little kid, and she ran out of the house. She saved his life. In fact, she's in Israel right now. Mm. And um, that's pretty amazing. Awesome. You know, there's a lot of uh, people right here in, in Jerusalem, in Israel, uh, that are from other countries, and they're nannies, they're, they're living in homes, really difficult circumstances. A lot of these are, are believers. and. Uh, they're, they're making a huge sacrifice, they don't make a lot of money, but because they love the Jewish people, they love this nation, right. they're willing to make those sacrifices. And it's incredible how they bless the children in the home, or if it's uh, an elderly person or someone that's bedridden. They can work sometimes for three, four, five years just right. as servants. And, and what a powerful testimony that is. And they're her heroes in my eyes as well. Amen.